Hey guys, in this tutorial, I will show you how you can brighten up your eyes like this in Spark AR for your Instagram filters. So let's brighten up some eyes. For the first step, we have to create three objects, a face tracker object and two plane objects. The two plane objects will be our eyes. So let's rename them to eye left and the second one to eye right. Next thing we have to do is to drag and drop these two planes into the face tracker objects and now they should follow along the face. So for the next step, we have to create a material for the eyes. So just create a material. I will call it eye, set the shader type to flat and yeah, just attach it to the two objects we have just created. So now the planes should be white, but yeah, they should follow our two eyes. So let's open up the patch editor. Drag and drop the face tracker to the patch editor and now you will find a producer patch of the face tracker in, uh, in the patch editor. Now go to add patch and search for the eyeball patch and um, connect the output face from the face tracker to the input face of the eyeball patch. So next thing we have to extract our position and the rotation of our two um, plane objects and connect them with the eyeball patch. So just sort them. The left one is up and the, sec and the right one is on the bottom. So yeah, so we don't get confused. So now when you hover over the output of the eyeball, you will see the left iris. Just connect this to the 3D position of the left eye and then um, you will see here the left eyeball rotation connect this to the 3T rotation of the left eye. Do the same for the right. So after we have done this, we will see um, that the two planes are following our eye movement, but at the moment they are really big. So just set the scale to 0 0.3 and now they will just cover the eyes. But now at the moment they are squared. We want them to be round like our eyes. So we have to create another few patches to do this. I don't um, will import a texture. We can also do this with a texture, but I will do everything here in the Spark AR Studio. So let's create a few patches. For the, the first patch will be the SDF circle patch. Then we have to create a step patch and the third patch we have to create is the mix patch. So set the mix patch from number to color and then set the radius of the STF circle, uh, circle patch from 0 0.5 to 0 0.2. Now connect the patches. The output from the STF patch goes into the edge input of the step and the out um, output of the step patch goes into the input of the alpha channel of the mix patch. So nothing <laughs> changed here in our viewport, but we will now um, extract the texture from the diffuse under our material to the patch editor and connect the output of the mix patch to the input of this new created um, patch of the material. So now the two squares turned from white to black. Let's change this into white circles. So set the middle one, the middle color to white and the um, upper color to opacity zero. So now we have created two circles um, in front of our eyes, but yeah, we have to tweak something there because we don't want to brighten up our pupil. To change this, we have to add a patch from our Spark AR library. To do this, go to the Spark AR library in the left bottom corner, click on it and search for eye. So here we will see the eyeball shader. Just click on it and, and click import for free. So after you have downloaded it, you will find it here in your assets panel under patches. Just drag and drop it to the patch editor and you will find an orange patch there. So just connect the texture output of this to the middle input of our mix patch. Now you will see we have changed our eye color to yeah, purple, I would say, but we just want to brighten up our eyes. So we set the iris color to 
white the iris color be also to white and we do the same for the iris color C and now we have just made here some white eyes but you will see them at the moment um, pretty gray to change this go to the eye material and set the blend mode from alpha to add now they are um, more white at the moment they are too white or when you want to brighten up your eyes that much you can leave it like that but I will um, set down the the material from opacity 100% to uh, opacity to like yeah let's say 32% to see a difference but now we have the problems that the um, eyes we overlay to the real eyes are um, in front of our face so let's change this for this we have to create a new object a face mesh object um, if this isn't um, appearing in your face tracker just drag and drop it into so it is following the face so first problem the eyes are here doing some crazy things so just go to the eye material and go to advanced render setting and um, toggle off right to death now um, the eyes are behind those those mask but we don't want to have this mask here we want to see our face to change this um, create a new material i will call it face occluder and then set the shader type to flat and decrease the opacity from 100 to 0% and then apply the material to our face mesh. Now nothing changed because the face mesh is um, under our two planes. Just drag and drop it above it and now you will see that the eyes are cut off when the eyelid begins. So yeah, this is pretty cool, but at the moment it's not perfect yet because when the user closes the eyes it makes some yeah some tricky things i would say so we have to tweak a little bit around to get rid of this effect so just add two patches the right eye closed patch and the left eye closed patch connect the face to the face input and then also create two nut patches because we want that the eyes are disappearing when the eyes are closed so we have to invert this signal then go to your plane objects and extract the visibility from the properties so they will appear in your patch editor and then um, connect the output of the nut patch from the right to the right eye and from the left to the left eye there is one last thing we can do that this whole thing looks more real so just select your face mesh and set the position the set position of your face mesh from 0 to 0 0.002 and now this uh, the eyes are looking more real because they are disappearing uh, more behind the eyelids so yeah Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss my next videos here on this channel, just subscribe to it. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.